Speak smart. Cutting clutter for clear communication. Hello, language learners. In today's lesson, we'll be diving into a very important topic, eliminating wordiness and redundancy. This skill is paramount when it comes to improving clarity and precision in your English speaking. By the end of this video, you will have practical strategies to ensure that your words pack a punch and your messages are clear and concise. Before we jump into how to eliminate wordiness and redundancy, it's essential to know what they are. Wordiness is using more words than necessary to convey an idea, and redundancy is when we repeat the same information, essentially saying the same thing twice. They can make our speech unclear and our conversations longer than they need to be. When it comes to eliminating wordiness, there are a few key strategies to keep in mind. 1. Avoid fillers and unnecessary expressions. Words like, actually, basically, really, often don't add value to what we're saying. 2. Use active voice. Active voice makes your sentences direct and crisp. Instead of saying, the cake was eaten by me, say, I ate the cake. 3. Get to the point. Avoid roundabout ways of saying things. Be clear and straightforward with your words. Redundancy, like wordiness, can also clutter our speech. Here are some strategies to tackle it. 1. Avoid repeating the same idea. Try to express your idea once and then move on. If you have to reiterate a point, try to do it in a different context or with a different emphasis. 2. Be cautious with synonyms. Using synonyms can enhance our language, but if we're not careful, it can lead to redundancy. Saying, shiny and glossy, is redundant because both words mean the same thing. 3. Eliminate redundant pairs. Phrases like, join together, end result, advance warning, are redundant because one word in the pair implies the other. Lastly, remember that improving your speech takes practice. Be patient with yourself, pay attention to how others speak, and gradually, you will find your speech becoming clearer and more concise. And that's it for today's lesson on eliminating wordiness and redundancy. Remember, your goal isn't just to communicate but to communicate effectively. Hopefully, you found this video helpful in taking a step closer to that goal. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and as always, keep speaking English with confidence.